Hi, I'm Nancy McDonough, owner of Kyoto Kimono, and in this video I'm going to show you the treasures I got from Japan in this box. This is typical of shipments that I get from Japan. I get about 50 of these at one time in the year. So, this one's empty now. About 24, 25 pieces will fit in one box. And I'm just going to kind of show you what we got. So this first piece, beautiful red and black. Now these are kimono jackets, so they have the kimono sleeve. This particular one is silk. It's black and red in the background with, with white in the florals. It's a, a faux ikat, so it's meant to look like the fuzzy weave, but actually it's been stenciled. So this is quite a nice one. Just put that here. Next we have a plaid, kind of a banded striped plaid and we do get a lot of these that don't necessarily look Japanese so to speak. This one has some sparkle in the weave, some silver threads. It's actually pretty nice for a casual kimono. Okay, the next one is yellow gold, which we don't get all that often. And it's a stenciled pattern, but it could be done by hand. I'd have to look more closely to it. But um, maybe it's a, a forest with the trees, kind of abstract. Oh, pretty. Has a nice feel to the silk, too. Next, we have a very traditional floral. Blue with uh, pastel colors, pla pastel colored florals, and some other um, design in the background. Uh, it has a very sturdy feel. It's not, it's not uh, the silk that you might think of silk being shiny and smooth. This is a beautiful silk crepe. Now, this one has the Three Friends of Winter, so it's got bamboo, um, bamboo, maple leaves, and plum blossoms. But um, this one, I noticed somewhere, has some damage. Uh, actually, this is a dochugi, which is a little different style than a haori. It actually crosses over in the front. But I noticed a little spot here. You probably can't see it. But this one, I'm not sure I'd be able to sell. So in a box like this, there's going to be some duds. Maybe the, f the fabric is quite nice, but I can't really sell it to be worn. Put that over there. Deal with that later. Here's a very pretty pink, kind of a rosy pink with a, uh, maybe a mountain hillside design. And I don't know if you can see in the back, but there's a, a basket weave jacquard behind the design. Here we have bright red retro kind of pattern. Wouldn't this be fun with a pair of jeans? It's actually not silk. It seems like it's a kind of a sturdy maybe cotton blend or a synthetic. But a uh, fun and funky pattern, isn't it? This one, also red. Real tiny flowers. I don't know if you can see real close up, but um, offset blue and I think cream colored flowers. Real tiny. So the smaller the pattern, a small repeat like this, indicates that it's a more casual kimono jacket. And also casual is when it's quite plain. So this one is kind of a gray taupe color. Um, this we might embellish with something to brighten it up a little bit. It's also a very kind of classy straight jacket if you're interested. Straight jacket? <laughs> kind of a simple casual jacket to go with pretty much anything you want underneath. <laughs> Um, this one is one of my favorites so far. It's a beautiful stencil design of florals and very kind of retro colors, lots of gray, um, black, kind of a blue-gray actually on this cream. Just feels very, very retro to me, 1950s, something like that. Beautifully done with the stencil as well and hand colored. Oh, now this one. Ha huh. This one's gorgeous. I mean, look at this. Once in a while we do get some fantastic pieces. This is hand, a lot of handwork here, a lot of gold uh, leaf embellishments on the, on the design. Uh, and that, this shading is really masterful. Put that there. Oh boy. And now we're back to kind of casual overall print. This is a pink and purple with, um, it's a stencil with pagodas and uh, kind of a uh, garden scene. Also very nice and casual. Oh, the silk feels quite nice. That would be that would be fun to wear. Another small repeat pattern again indicates that's kind of a casual style. Um, very small repeat. A um, little bit of silver sparkle in some of the design. Kind of fun. Got a little green in there, and green is not a very common color. 
Ooh, this one's fun. So it's a black silk. Feels like kind of a raw silk. It's very sturdy. And I don't know if it's fans that look like florals or florals that look like fans, but it has a very nice design all done with a stencil. And then there's a little bit of red here, there, and yellow, which was hand colored. Beautiful. Then we have another fairly casual one. It's kind of a, a golden tan color with some sparkle in the weave and the stencil design of um, florals. Look, I see peonies and several other kinds of florals. That's a fun one too. Nice for summer. And speaking of summer, this looks to us like uh, fireworks, but actually it's more like a pinwheel design in bands. And there's green and pink on cream. Also kind of fun. Okay. Getting down to the bottom here, we have uh, this lovely kind of ice blue. I don't know if you can see in the camera, it's got a, a slightly raised weave, uh, a jacquard weave, and it's um, more flowers and streams and uh, garden gates. So also quite nice, but it's single color. So again, lends itself to embellishment, or of course you can wear something fun underneath. Here is a very fun kind of purpley pink. Let me turn that around. Purple pink kind of clouds with this faux shibori design. So it's printed, but it's made to look like the Japanese tie-dye shibori. Uh, and it's got a cloud motif going on in there, too. This one also feels silky, but I think it's synthetic. Here's a fun one. Uh, talk about your contrast of traditional with retro, fun, funky. It's a dark, dark orange and black design. And sometimes you have to pick it up to really try to figure out what they were trying to, what the motif is, what they were trying to do. This one will take me a little more time. Uh, last couple here, this is a beautiful taupe color with a very pretty rainbow metallic weave floral on top. So you've got a textured jacquard underneath with the floral and then you've got it kind of echoed um, with the metallic weave uh, in rainbow colors. It's quite nice. So it takes something from being very casual with the metallic to being a little more semi-formal. This would be a casual version of a metallic weave. So very pretty dusty rose color, kind of a common color you'll find with vintage kimono. And it's got long, um, long lines in the weave and a lot of sparkle. And I see a few florals here in the, that might catch the light in the weave as well. Kind of similar here is a green one. As I mentioned, we're always happy to get green because it's an unusual color. It's not as common as you might think. And the metallic weave in here makes it look more like a wood grain pattern. Uh, almost down to the bottom, here we have red and black. Oh, it looks like this is another dochugi, not a kimono. So these do cross over, and they have little ties that keep the bottom straight. Where's the tie? Little ties to keep the bottom straight. This is a really pretty one. It's a nice, smooth silk, and it's a, a star hemp design in black and red with clouds. So this dochugi design is great for people who need a little bit more room because the ties allow you to make it a little bit bigger and still cross it over in the front. And uh, just as a note, the dochugi does cross over, but these other Hauri jackets don't cross over. You're supposed to be able to see the kimono you're wearing underneath. So almost to the end here, this is a beautiful, more the, the more I see it, um, tones of purple in a very tiny stencil pattern of small flowers and a grid, a diamond grid, but I think that once you see this on, you'll notice more color variation and more shimmer when it hits the light. Another purple, this is a fun one. It's a summer kimono. I don't know if you can tell. I kind of put my hand in there. It's actually semi-sheer. It's got these cutouts here too. So that makes, and it's unlined for summer. Can you see me? I can see you. And the last one we have here is a very pretty, also a summer one. It's not sheer, it's just unlined, and it's a beautiful silk, a really nice feel to the silk. It's kind of short. Again, you can never tell how long the jacket will be. Um, but the design is beautiful pastel floral on black. So that's what I got in my shipment today. 
Um, I never get the same thing twice, so stay tuned for another video, maybe next month I'll open up another box.